Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys this uh, drugstore makeup look. So first I'm just going to put my hair back uh, so my makeup doesn't get on it. And then I'm going to start with primer. I'll be using the uh, Baby Skin uh, Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline, but I also recommend this one. It's the uh, Fit Me Madame Poreless Mattifying Primer by Maybelline as well. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and then just apply it to the skin. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal uh, 24 Hour Matte Cover in 200 uh, Golden Sands. And I'm going to take a beauty blender and just start uh, massaging the product into the skin. So I'm going to contour my face using the NYX uh, Wonder Stick in light to medium. And it has two sides, one with a highlighter and one with a, a bronzer. Uh, but I usually just use the bronzer side and the highlighter. I use it as eyeshadow sometimes. I'm just going to put the bronzer on my forehead, then on my cheekbones and a little bit on the chin and then with whatever is left like on the brush I usually just run it along my jawline because I don't really like when there's like a, a harsh line there and I'm going to take this brush right here and this is a brush from the Morphe collection and I'll have all of the uh, links down below and I'm going to just start blending out the contour and I actually used to do a concealer before contour but then now I'm starting to do it after just so I can clean up any lines if I have to and then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just gonna run it along my jawline. I'm gonna take a spoolie and just run it through my eyebrows. And I'm gonna take a eyebrow pencil. And I'm gonna be using the Essence Eyebrow Designer Pencil in black. And I'm just going to kind of run it along my eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna run the spoolie over one more time. And all I really do for my eyebrows is just kind of like fill them in. And I'm just going to be using the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara and I'm going to just uh, be putting it on top just so the brows stay in place. I'm going to be taking the NYX uh, Bear With Me Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to take a beauty blender and dip it into the product and then just start underneath my eyes. And I really recommend for you guys to put uh, concealer on your hand first just so you can control how much product you're applying and you can always apply more if, if it's not enough. But I found that sometimes like when I apply product uh, directly on the skin, I either apply too much and it just ends up looking very cakey. It's a really like requested video from you guys. And I'm actually really happy to do it because there's a lot of uh, drugstore products that I really love and that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, because if you guys have seen my other makeup uh, tutorials, you might have already known that um, I do use a lot of drugstore products in combination with high-end products uh, for my normal everyday makeup routine. Because I found out that price doesn't always mean quality. I mean, sometimes you have products that are high-end and amazing and really worth uh, spending a little bit more money on them. But there's also more affordable drugstore products that are also amazing and that even compare to the higher-end uh, products. And especially these days, like with uh, social media and stuff like that, I feel like there's a lot of accounts that post a lot of dupes. So yeah, so I would really recommend for you guys to try uh, these products out. And not only are they affordable, but they're also really, really good. And by the way, like I'm not a makeup artist or anything. These are just the products that I found that have worked for me and that I really, really like. And like I said before, I like to do concealer now after uh, doing the bronzer. Because for example, as you see right here, uh, it got a little bit like everywhere and I want it to be a little bit sharper. So I'm just going to take the concealer and then just kind of make a line there and just cover up the bronzer uh, that went down a little bit too much so it looks more defined and now I'm gonna do bronzer so for bronzer I'm gonna be using the uh, L'Oreal Bronzer Paradise in Back to Bronze and I'm just gonna apply it everywhere where I applied uh, contour and also uh, bronze up my nose uh, so I'm gonna take this brush right here that's kind of like an angled brush and I'm just going to dip into the product and then just kind of slightly just run it over and this will just help uh, to set the contour in place and also give a little bit uh, more of a bronze to the skin. Alright, so now I'm going to take this small little dance brush and I'm going to be applying the bronzer on my nose. And what I like to do is I kind of like to trace the shape that I want and then blend it out with another brush. I'm just going to trace one line down and then connect it to my eyebrow. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side like so and then I'm just going to connect these two lines together and then I'm just going to connect it down to the tip of my nose it's like two lines and then a little uh, circle on the tip 
All right, and I'm gonna be taking this little brush right here. It's a little um, fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend out uh, the lines that I just did. All right, and now that it's blended out, I'm actually gonna take my beauty blender. Uh, that it, it has a little bit of product in it still, and I'm just going to kind of blend out the sides of it. Since the brush is a little bit bigger, it will kind of like push the product a little bit more down than I want. So I'm just going to kind of clean it up a little bit. All right, and now for blush, I'm gonna be using uh, my all-time favorite, which you guys have probably heard of about a million times. This uh, Chic Lover blush in Blooming Hibiscus. It's a very pretty shade, and it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I really like it. I think like it's the perfect shade for a blush, especially if you're looking for something that's like peachy but still a little bit pink. So I'm just gonna apply it, and I like to apply it starting from the middle of my cheek, and then just uh, bring it up like so. So just from the middle, and then bringing it up. And I like to apply quite a lot of blush, but I mean you can do how much you want to, if you want to do more or less, it's up to you. Um, but I really like the kind of sunburned, kind of summery look, um, so yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying uh, powder. And this is step is very important, especially um, if you're going into warmer weather like we are. I'm going to be using the HD Studio uh, Finishing Powder by NYX. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just apply it uh, first underneath my eyes. Uh, but first I'm going to... I'm going to take my beauty blender. Because sometimes uh, before you apply a powder, your uh, concealer can crease a little bit. So you want to just kind of blend it out and then put product on top. Uh, because if you put powder without kind of blending out those lines, then they will become even like more highlighted. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to apply the product underneath. And now for the rest of the face, I'm going to take a little bit more and just do it on the sides of my nose. And I basically just like to apply a powder everywhere where I didn't apply the uh, blush for the bronzer. And I really used to believe that to achieve like glowy skin, you had to use only cream products and like uh, use no powder. But that's not really true. I found that uh, you can make your skin look glowy. Um, by using highlighter or a blush, for example, like this, that has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Personally, for me, since my skin is a little bit on the older side, um, I feel like if I don't use powder for maybe two hours, my uh, foundation starts kind of like lifting off. But it really depends to uh, what kind of skin type you have. If you have more drier skin, then I think that uh, applying just a little bit of powder on the T-zone um, should be fine for you. You really just need to listen to your skin and see like what works for you and what doesn't. So now that I'm done with powder, I'm going to be taking the same brush that I did uh, my nose contour with, where I blended it out. And I'm just going to apply a little bit more with whatever's on the brush. I don't take any more product and just kind of like highlight it. Alright, so now uh, we can move on to highlighter, which is one of my favorite parts. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Catrice uh, Morning Glow Highlighter in the shade number 10. And I'm going to be using this small little uh, fluffy brush. Oh, and for the powder, I used this brush. They're basically the same, just this one is much uh, bigger than this one. So this one I use for powder and this one I use for highlights. And I found that using like a smaller brush uh, for highlighter works for me best because I like to really pinpoint the highlighter. I don't like to apply a lot over the face. It was a reel that I saw um, where they showed like how to properly place your highlighter um, so that it catches the light and looks more natural. Um, so I've been trying to do that, I don't know if it works really, but I'm gonna show you guys. So you take your highlighter and you're gonna put a little bit of what you normally would put it, which is on the cheekbone. Like so. And then I'm gonna take a little bit underneath the brow. And then a little bit uh, on the inner corner of your eye. And I like to apply it not exactly like right here. I like to apply it a little bit more up so that it kind of looks a little bit more natural and when you go from the side you can see it. And then I'm going to take a little bit and just apply it like right underneath my eye, so right there. And But this one is just a little bit. And I just find that it looks super pretty, it looks very natural and it kind of catches the light um, in different ways, which is nice. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to move on to the nose. So for the nose, I'm just going to go down uh, the bridge of it, like so, and then I'm just going to put a little kind of dot on the tip of the nose, so just a little bit. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit on the chin and then a little bit uh, on the cupid's bow, 
so like that and that's it for highlighter so now we're gonna move on to eyes and for the eyes i like it to be really simple so i don't put any eyeshadow or any um, eyeliner but you can if you want to like it's completely up to you if you like to see how i do uh, my eyeliner or when i put my shadow uh, you can watch this video right here all right so i'm just going to first uh, start with uh, curling my lashes so i usually just take the lashes at the root and then i just kind of uh, curl for around 10 seconds then i let go and kind of go a little bit more up and then curl again and i do that until i reach like the top of the lash and that kind of makes your eyelashes like nice and curled which i really like i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye all right and now that my eyelashes are curled i'm going to be using uh, my mascara and again if you've been following for a while you guys know how much i love this mascara it's like my favorite one ever i've tried a lot of like uh, high-end and uh, more affordable uh, mascaras and i do like other uh, mascaras as well but i always uh, tend to come back to this one so i'm just going to take the mascara and just start applying it to the lashes and one thing though is that if you do like to apply eyeshadow or eyeliner i would be more careful than i'm being but since i'm not wearing anything on my eyes i can just kind of take a cotton pad um in case i like mess up or put a little bit of mascara on my eyelid i'm just going to uh just remove the product from my lid so as you can see I didn't really apply too much mascara uh, on the ends of my lashes which is what I usually do because I'm gonna be applying a strip lash um, so I'm just going to uh, now move on to the other eye and as you can see like this is just one coat and it also looks really pretty in case you like more uh, like a natural look Alright, so now I'm just going to clean the other eye. So again with a little cotton bud and a little bit of micellar water. Alright, so now I'm going to take the strip lashes and, and what I do is I just cut uh, one lash in half and I just kind of use them as little individuals. And these are kiss lashes, I believe. I will like um, put the name here because I'm not sure exactly which ones these are. So I'm just going to take the strip lash, a tweezer, and then this eyelash glue. It's the Ardell Lash Grip uh, Clear Brush on Eyelash Adhesive. So I'm just going to take it and apply a little bit on the lash. And now I'm just going to kind of let it uh, get a little bit more like tacky. I don't know if that's a word. And I usually don't really wear lashes, uh, but I've been really liking to once in a while. I feel like it just gives a little bit more uh, glam to a uh, kind of natural look, and I really like it. Um, so yeah, so now that the uh, adhesive is a little bit uh, more... I still don't know if that's the word, but I think it's tacky. Um, I'm just going to apply it on the lash line, and I'm going to be using a hair. Alright, so once strip lash is done, I'm going to do the same uh, thing over again. Now that the eyelashes are in place, I'm going to move on to the last step, which is lips. And I'm going to start with this NYX lip pencil. I'll put the name right here. And I'm just going to kind of uh, overline the lip. And I like to overline kind of the top and bottom, but uh, keep it like at my real uh, lip line on the sides. Um, just because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural that way, not too overlined. And then connect it to my real lips. And now I'm going to be taking the uh, NYX um, Shine Loud in Magic Maker. And I'm going to apply just a little bit on the center. I'm going to just blend it out. And for the outer part of the lip, I like to use the NYX Shine Loud in Ambition Statements. And also just apply a little bit like on the outsides of the lips and then just also blend it in and for gloss you can use the lip gloss from the um, NYX Shine Loud but I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline Vinyl Lipstick in the shade 15 Peachy and I'm just gonna be taking and applying it on the lips now I'm just gonna take off the clips And that's it for my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed and that you learned something. Um, again, if there's other products that you would like me to try, please uh, let me know down below. And please subscribe and follow me on my other socials if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I hope to see you in my next video.